Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Secret Corporation, which is proving much more difficult than I expected a corporation would be. Uh, yes, there he is, stuck behind the water cooler. Shout out to Elthwar, who says, I know necromancers summoning demons is traditional, but it always feels like I'm looking at cross-discipline skill that pops up, because they both count for dark magic credit for wizard college. Not that I'm complaining, that seems like a powerful skill, and the dark overlord style is a classic for a reason, but if there aren't general familial skills, the synergy can be limited. I do enjoy how, uh... professionally worded that was. Um, and shout out to Clunk279, who says, Considering that the necromancer is already a skeleton, I'd say he stopped being a necromancer and is a full-on lich now. You know, you're not wrong. That is a very good point. Let's go say hello to this guy. Oh, right. Projectile attacks. You're free now! And I have done that. No, with the files. No, I'm gonna put an air conditioner in the middle of this uh, hallway. Okay, I think I am doing a bit uh, smoother with a uh, tail whip than with a uh, stomp. Right in the doorway. Oh, wait, no. I forgot I'm immune to that right now. Key acquired! I feel like a dragon could break an air conditioner if it really wanted to. Ah, oh, perfect. issue with a dragon being that most of the smashables do tend to get smashed. I kind of don't want to go after the uh, plants. Curses. That's many dudes. Well, let's go say hi. How do you like it when someone leaves uh, dangerous fields all over the ground? Oh boy. Let me just pick that up. Oh, and I can't even just uh, casually start all things off with the fire because all of them are warded. Oh well. Oh, missed one. Hey, there's a, uh, an upgrade token. It does really sound like a Discord message. Oh, there's the kill baddies quest. Kill baddies, infinite quest, kill baddies. Level up! Hopefully being level 51 instead of 50 will help me uh, conquer this level 50 dungeon. Fuck your files! 
Oh, I put the turtle on because uh, a friend of mine recommended a uh, build for the turtle, but I don't think I have all the abilities needed for it yet. I need to upgrade the turtle, I think. Get Okay, that should be smoother now. Sorry about that. More uncertainty than a technical issue, but we're good now. Knock, knock! Well. Given that, you know, people refer to me as a wizard no matter what form I'm in. Yeah, actually, there was a thing here. Shout out to Elthwar, he says, Finally, the dragon. Certainly a beast worth the wait. And of all the transformations or aspects of Nostromagus, I guess this is how he viewed himself in battle. An unstoppable being of power made flesh. But as I was starting to say, given that, uh... You know, still technically a wizard, even if I'm playing as a dragon at the moment, I feel like the meme is appropriate here. It's wizard time, motherfucker! Fireball! Excellent. And I'll just chill here until I'm no longer slowed. Or hey, maybe the robot not be slowed at all. I'm trying to make that guy blow up and kill everybody else, but no, no. No such luck. <laughs> 1600 damage. Oh dear. Oh! Oh! I'd never seen that before. That guy wasn't even aiming at me. He'd aimed at the at the smashables that were blocking the path of those other bad guys. What the hell is he shooting at? Crab Bombay! Egg. $140. I think that means I would have gotten 100 if I hadn't been switching to someone with a magnet. Oh, wait, no. Oh, but again, everything is wrecked. Ah! Oh no! The robot is literally a tool of destruction. I'm wondering if the, how this reflects on Nostromagus. What's that? You can't change your wards like that, you fuck! You know, apropos of nothing, I really, really enjoy wait, that, uh, when you charge up the dragon's charge attack, he holds one arm ba back and up, and one arm forward and flat, as if he's about to, like, throw a football or tell someone, GO LONG! No, oh, a chest. One more chest, and I get that infinite quest. I 
Oh, yes, and uh, there was a comment that suggested I could see the rest of the banner on the S rank thing if I went to the, uh, the shape-shifting menu as the egg. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. It still shows the blunt thing there. So I shall uh, not name drop so as to avoid embarrassing anyone. Is that the moon bind? Oh, no, it's a pie chart. That's right. I got Wheel of Cheese. And nobody's just a green circle outside, uh, inside a brown circle. The monk's uh, uh, thing is prayer beads. The robot has uh, a gear, of course. Huh. The rogue's a brown circle with a black circle inside of it. Oh no, whatever will I do? Monsters! Oh no, they're getting closer, closer still! Oh wait, no, I'm far more dangerous than they are! That's right. False alarm. Oh, chewing up the scenery again. What are you waiting for? Come on! Not sure that makes any sense, but we'll allow it. Burn for me! Wash that one off. It was in the middle of all that gunk. Gunk is a great word to describe an unpleasant substance because the word itself is inherently. I hear sword traps. You motherfucker. Well, there's no lever or anything. Let me just check so that I... Let's see, does anyone have dodge equipped? Fuck. Okay. Um... Let's be... Well, fuck it. Let's be anyone. Because it doesn't really matter who I pick. Alright, it wasn't as simple as simply getting over here. No A prompt, so it's not hidden down here with a lever. I like the little trail of leaves. I never noticed that before. Hello, lever. Lever. Oh, wait. Jeez, I'm wasting all this potential mana over here. Turtle. Open chests, infinite quest complete. Hell yeah. Oh right, it's one of those abilities that doesn't actually use any mana. Ah! Oh right. Sorry for just a second there, I forgot I was a dragon. <laughs> Motherfucker. Hmm. I suppose they're being accurate to Dungeons and Dragons by making the dragon red. In D and D, every color of dragon gets their own separate elemental breath attack. Only red dragons can breathe fire. Well, that's not true, but other chromatic dragons, only red dragons can breathe fire. D&D uh, &D has a setup where all the chromatic dragons are evil and worship uh, Queen Tiamat, while all of the uh, metallic dragons are uh, good and worship Lord Bahamut. I think it's more accurately pronounced ba Bahamut. <laughs> Okay, god damn it. Getting slowed a lot. You know what? 
scientists need to work around it. Oh no! Thank god I remembered which one had the shoes on. Ha! Ah! You little shit. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Ah! Oh fucking Christ, I thought that was a projectile. <laughs> I actually got startled by a goddamn penny flying at me. How the fuck does an egg eat a chocolate bar anyway? Oops. I was thinking of this guy. Fuck me, I one-shot that guy. It's not very nice to spit poison all over the place. Wait, no, don't break that yet. I mean, it might seem like a ridiculous ability. I can think of several horror games where I'd really appreciate being able to just summon a light above me whenever I wanted to. Mm, raw turnips. Oh no, it's in there, guys, guys, I've been in there. Dragon! I know I should put the feet on, but... Without the charge bonus? I don't love that. It's not the worst in the world. Honestly, the reason I hadn't put the boots on the dragon was because... I was kind of worried about being OP. Delicious money. And also delicious food. Not that eggs tend to eat, but you know what I mean. Interesting. They damaged uh, things in the environment when uh, the, the the fire ticks on them went off. I never noticed that before. Wonder if I would break a thing if I was poisoned standing next to a breakable. Okay, this thing right here. Is this a window? Is this a closet door? What is this? I mean, it looks kind of like a window with Venetian blinds on it, but it goes all the way to the floor. Oh. I wasn't sure if there was money in there or not. Why is he riding around in a brain, anyway? All right, I'll make this quick. There you go, he didn't suffer at all. I very much, oh, chest. I very much appreciate the dragon, like, leaning into the clawing. Fuck yeah. Oh, I didn't actually mention earlier. Uh, the metallic dragons mirror the uh, the chromatic dragons' breath weapons, and for the record, it's uh, red dragons on the evil side and gold dragons on the good side that can breathe fire. That's not to say there have been. Oh God. Not to say there have been no uh, exceptions to the rule about making them good or evil. Ow. Oh, and he's followed by the ward guy, right.
Ow. Dragon being big and unwieldy might actually benefit from, uh, dodge. Alright, that was actually pretty good. Feel good about that. I mean, okay, technically you can access all of these chairs, but this is still the most idiotic layout for desks I've ever seen in my life. This one, of course, is just preposterous, because you can't even get to this desk right here. Much less the two chair table uh, chairs at that table. My goodness, there is a lot of coffee spilled all over the place. Oh no, the timer again. What? Let me just get some mana back and I'll call it. There we go. All right. We can go pretty good progress so far, I think, despite the uh, <clears throat> initial setbacks. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. When we, uh... Well, keep kicking ass and making our way through the secret corporation. And probably deal with a really unfortunate boss at the end. Till then. Have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>